Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Ari Plays, and we are getting into this game a little bit late, but it's still oh oh. Uh, yeah, Strike Zone, or not Strike Zone, Sovereign SND. It's not that bad. It's not that bad of an SND map. So, yeah. But I'll uh, get a gameplay out for you guys since it's been like a week or two since I've uploaded. I'm gonna try to get two videos out today, hopefully, if this is not that if it's not that long. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you. Behind me. Yeah, he came behind me when I was in there with you. I didn't know he was behind us. Like, that was, was a pretty, pretty easy, uh, yeah, he okay. and pretty, pretty easy round. Uh, let me mute these players really quick. Actually, I'll leave that guy unmuted. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking bomb underground. But, really, not really anything that we'll be worried about is pubs. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the bomb down if I can. Planted it in this. I don't know why I planted it in that corner actually. Because I, I was just gonna go back through here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if this is a good spot. Yeah, it is. Oh gosh, this silencer has no range. <laughs> Hold on, I can push this kid. I'll just push him. In a defensive situation like that, you would never want to push him. Like if he was a 1v1, let's say he's he's like he's trying to go for the plane or something or the defuse, and uh, you're like in a 1v1 situation. Don't ever just like try to rush him because you can always just let the bomb blow up and you win the round. Like that's the easiest way. You try to buy yourself time just by staying alive. And I am using a silencer. This is like my first time ever using a silencer on the MTAR. But uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd try it out, uh, see how it does and everything. Hopefully, there's a guy that rushes snake. That'd be exciting. But uh, it's 4v4 now, it was 4v3 because somebody quit out on the team. There is a... I don't know if there's a player watching their flank or no. But I'm going to try to hit him with a hot one. That's what I always do in a... Uh, I search and destroy. I always go for the flanks, but not like the most obvious flanks. I go for the ones that. Like right here. Here's a good. Here's a good position. I saw him go back through there, so. Just gonna kind of calmly wait. If he's not, if he doesn't go here in 15 seconds, then I'm going to A or B. Oh, yep. I saw him. He's going into maps. Yeah, he's actually gonna be laying down in in here, I think. That was a pretty easy round of clutch because I kept my eye on him. I uh, knew he wasn't going to A. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy round, I think. Uh, our team did really good. We're doing really good. We're off to a three and a start, but this is not gonna probably be a, re a really long one if we six over them. It'd probably be like I don't I don't know. They're arguing too, so that's that's the downfall of having a mic too. If you want to like play ghosts, because your teammates will probably argue with you if you do something wrong. There wasn't really anything wrong with his decision. Like he he showed that he was at A, but it was pretty obvious with this rotation that like, well if you shoot at A, the, the defender is going to obviously think you're A, a so it's pretty easy, like, easy decision to read. That you're going to go B, that you're going to try to juke them out or something, but like a juke decision was, would be like, I know that he was going to go B, right? Because he shot A and he thought, well, oh, he's going to think I'm going A since I, since I shot here. but. I waited a and then he didn't he wasn't there by 15 seconds so I rotated over to B. That's pretty much how you got to play defensive rounds if you know where he's at if it's a 1v1. 1v1s are pretty easy to play. 
and that guy just dropped bomb, and it's a 2v1 situation now. So give me a second if I go quiet. Another the guy up here. He's on our side, I think. Yeah. We lost that round, but we can still win this. Uh, he checked the bomb. He like at 15 seconds, everybody checks the bomb. I should have waited for him. Maybe uh, I don't know. It was a 2v1. It was it was pretty hard to like uh pretty hard to probably clutch that because one was probably at B and one was probably at A. I knew there was one at B, but it it was just kind of a messed up situation because if that white guy would have stayed alive, top get walk with the bomb, we wouldn't have been in that situation. But you know it happens. So rounds now three and one. Uh, we're still we're still up we're still up. So oh this kid's going off. But this last one's underground too. Time's almost up. Yep. Excellent job, team. Get ready. He just got pooped on. Uh, we're not doing that bad in the search. I might upload this one first before the uh, domination. We lost about one point in the domination, but still, that I thought I thought I had a pretty good game. Uh, I didn't really cap anything. I couldn't really cap anything because, like, my team and stuff the way they were playing. But still, it's not really my team. If I was if I was probably a better player, I could I could have carried them. But I tried to. It's pretty hard to carry in a game like that in domination and strike uh, strike zone. But. That's just how it works, and they're all quitting out. Actually, it's the person on my team quitting out. Actually, let me quit that. Right. Okay, this is a glitch. All right. I and, of, this I and of course that. And, and of course, there is a kid that's in the most obvious position on the map to watch. To watch a, I should have planted it on the other side. He would have never known I was there. And that kid just pooped on the other kid. Round four two, I'm not doing that bad. Six and two, uh, I die. I die pretty stupidly. I just gotta think about my decisions and stuff. But other than that, we're good, man. We're Gucci, man. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Sovereign's probably not my favorite of the S and Ds, but. Uh, I think Freight is my favorite, honestly. Uh, just the way you play it, it just reminds me of so many other maps. Alright. Oh, wow, I shouldn't have came up that side. He's one shot. There you go. I should have waited for him, actually. One shot pun we're on board with. Oh wait wait no, let's go on board with Freddy to resurrect because he's doing pretty good. He's doing five and three. So yeah, let's, let's go okay, he gets taken out by critical up on the top yellow balcony on their side. Okay, we got one shot pun ready to go take him out. Alright, that was a pretty easy kill. He sees he's planted at B, so he's gonna think he's right there to the ladder. He's not though. He's gonna wait on him, see what see what he does. Uh if he's a predictable player yep, yep, he's a predictable player. Alright. That was pretty good clutch by one shot pun. I will give you a shout out on my channel. Yeah, buddy. Alright, no, everything's dead. Everything's dead, don't worry. Okay, there you go. Okay, you play on 40 million sensitivity. I don't see how. That, that would make me throw up if I started playing on that. But it's okay. It's okay. He, he clutched it. He clutched it and it was the win. So, well, it didn't give us the win yet. We're still. Five to two, they could still come back. Search so destroy. never treat a win like it's a win, or never treat a game like it's a win, because it, it always there's always a comeback, and nobody wow. wants to be we come back. Wrong. Wrong. Uh, 
Uh, this is a pretty slow gun to rush with. I don't know why to rush with it yet. I know there's a kid back here who stands on those boxes. That was him. I don't even know if this kid's playing. Yeah, he is. Check bomb. Don't make him. Don't let him get the ninja. The ninja defuse. Yep. All right, guys. This has been our replays. We have got Retro Havoc skinning on the last game winning kill cam because I just saved him from the uh, from the Ninja Diffuse. So I guess I'll see you guys later. And